Okay, so I think that we are ready to start. So hello everybody again. I'm so happy to be here with you. I will stop my video now. So you will be focused on what I will show you on the presentation. So I see so many people today. Are you ready? Please write down on the chat that you are ready, that you see my screen with the graphs on it, that you can hear me clearly and we will start the webinar. Okay, cool. So before we get started, I want just uh, to say a few uh, words about myself and about AutoDS. So who am I? I'm a dropshipper for the past 12 years. I'm the co-founder and CEO of AutoDS. I oversaw statistics of more than 200,000 dropshipping stores. I'm managing right now over 35 e-commerce stores with our e-commerce manager. Uh, these stores are on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Shopify, and other selling channels. Uh, on AutoDS right now, we are 80 people, and AutoDS is an all-in-one dropshipping platform. Basically, it's uh, the biggest all-in-one dropshipping platform right now on the market of eBay and Facebook Marketplace. And our mission on AutoDS is to educate dropshippers to succeed and become profitable using the most automatic tools and solutions that possible on the market. So in the past 12 years, I saw one amazing thing. I saw people who scaled their businesses during the Q4 and then keep scaling it in the entire next year using the strategies that they learned during the Q4 and with what they started during the Q4. So why does it happen? During the Q4, people get much more uh, sales and they can increase their profits. That's the first thing. Also, it's a, perfect, it's a perfect opportunity to easily create one second. I just want, yeah, okay. To easily create more stores and to boost sales for the upcoming year. The last thing why the Q4 is so important for us is because it's the best time to test and learn new strategies. What will happen today? Today we will answer some questions. The first one will be what is the quickest and the easiest way to get, to get most out of the Q4 and its holiday season. The methods that I will share with you today are relevant for both beginners and advanced dropshippers who sell on any of the supported marketplaces on AutoDS. It can be eBay, Shopify, Facebook, or Amazon and Wix, which are coming soon. You will learn today the importance of the Q4, how to prepare your dropshipping business for it, and how to maximize your success. You will discover, you will discover what are the top Q4 niches to sell, which products are the best to sell during the Q4, and how to find more dropshipping products by yourself. I will also show you today the PGO strategy, the 2021 strategy that we developed for our e-commerce businesses. And we use this strategy all the Q4 in this year. And also it started even in the past year. And now we just improved it. By the way, in the end of the webinar, we will have a very special surprise. So stay with us. One more thing that we will reveal today is the method for eBay sellers to increase their selling limits, get the top rated seller status back and unflag their accounts. Also, you will stay updated with part of the AutoDS releases and functions that you may miss and will save you time, increase your store traffic and optimize your sales. And in the end of the webinar, we will have a special Q&A session with our special guest, who is one of the most professional dropshippers I ever got the pleasure to meet. And trust me, I met a lot. I'll tell you more about him later, but for now, just one spoiler, this dropshipper owns over 20 eBay stores that earned over 1.5 million in sales in the last year. And if you stay with us until the end of the webinar, you will exit the webinar feeling pumped and ready to scale your dropshipping business. You will know exactly what to do to skyrocket your dropshipping business with more profits and sales. 
You will learn about the opportunity to gain more valuable knowledge from Daniel, who is uh, our special guest today. And uh, it's very, very important to stay until the Q&A session because he will answer a lot of important dropshipping questions that we will uh, talk about today. And you will be eligible for a special limited time offer that we always offer during webinars for those who really spend time with us, who really made the effort to come and to learn more to improve their dropshipping businesses. These are some results. These are not the best results. It's something average that we saw on AutoDS in the last Q4. So here are some different stores, different strategies, but all of them have one thing in common. And the common thing for all of them is that all of them were on the Q4 webinar in the last year. So let's talk first why the holiday session season is so profitable for e-commerce sellers. Just some statistics and then we will jump into the business and I will show you the strategies and all the very exciting things that we have for today. So first, most of the buyers will make over 48% of their shopping between Thanksgiving and Christmas. 77% of buyers will purchase from the same retailer that they did in the past year. It means that if we had a good result in the past year, we should have something very similar on this year. And more than that, everyone who starts now in the Q4 and get more uh, buyers during this period will have the opportunity to bring these buyers in the next year also. 49% of the shoppers are making emotional purchases. We will talk about it more later, how we make them to buy more with us using this uh, detail. 57% of the buyers research in-store but buy online, means that if we have the right products uh, for them to buy from our store and they found something offline, they may buy from our store later. Another interesting statistic is that physical stores grew by 6.9% in 2020 versus the e-commerce stores that had the highest annual US e-commerce growth in the last two decades. That is an increase incredible growth of 32.4%. By the way, the expectations for this year are even higher. So, why all this rush now? Why to start now? And why do we do this webinar just in Q4? So first, every year since uh, 2009, the number of e-commerce uh, sales during the Q4 period continues to break records. Q4 in 2021 will go even higher than what we had until now. The number of unique online visitors, shoppers who visit e-commerce stores for the first time grew by 43% and US customers spend in average $885 on holiday shopping, which is a huge amount that we can take as a profit for our stores. Another interesting statistic is that shoppers prefer fast shipping and free shipping, which is also very important. And we will talk about it later in, during this webinar, how we take it uh, in conclusion. Okay, so that was a quick introduction just to explain you why this uh, period is so important for any e-commerce seller and for sure for dropshippers. Write down in the chat right now, Q4 profits, and we will start show you our amazing strategies that we prepared for you. Write down in the chat, Q4 profits. Amazing. Okay, so before we get started, let's understand what are the holidays that we have uh, from now until the end of this year. First, we have the Thanksgiving, which comes on November 25. We have the Black Friday on November 26. Cyber, Mo Cyber Monday on November 29th and Christmas on December 25th. You don't need to remember all these dates because we prepared for you this e-commerce calendar. And so 
Autodesk e-commerce calendar. Let me share with you the link on the chat. What you can do with this calendar is that if you add this calendar into your Google uh, calendar, you just need to put here the details and you will get the link for the calendar, is that you will be able to see all the upcoming events. And not only this, for each and any of the events, we also have here our articles that are amazing content writers prepared for you, that you can just go to each and any of the articles and see exactly what you need to do to prepare your store for this article and what are the best products to sell during this um, holiday. So this is something really detailed. You can see that any holiday that is uh, relevant for e-commerce here. We always update it. By the way, even the webinar of today also in this calendar. So it's highly recommended to add this calendar uh, to your Google calendar. Now let's talk about products and niches. So what do buyers spend their money on during the holiday season? First, we have the apparel, toys and hobbies, electronics, home and kitchen products, video games, beauty products, and for sure, products that are, are relevant for the specific holiday, and I will show you them soon. So this is something that is very important to take in conclusion. By the way, as I said before, you have all this on the e-commerce calendar. For Thanksgiving, what people buy usually is uh, photo booth props, clothes, wine bottle labels, table runners, pillow covers, kitchen products, and pet products. All these different products are products that I recommend you to add to your stores to prepare for this holiday. It's still not too late for this one if you work with uh, American suppliers or uh, local suppliers, so you can actually provide the products on time. The next holidays that we have are the Black Friday and Cyber Monday. For these holidays, we don't have anything specific because it's something generic, it's just another shopping day that everyone makes deals for um, their customers. But what usually most recommended to sell during these holidays are products that were trending during the specific year. So if now we are on 2021, you need to see what were the highest trends for products during this year and what are the most relevant things for the uh, season right now. For example, it can also be things from uh, uh, movies or stuff like that. So for this year, we had the headphones, through blankets, SE Shure, robot vacuum cleaners, cordless drill uh, driven kits, gel uh, or foam uh, pillows, and Instapots. These are just few products, few niches that we prepared for you, but I will show you now another uh, idea how to get more niches. For Christmas, we have the Christmas trees, lights, Christmas ornaments, Christmas uh, <coughs> tree toppers, Christmas stocking, and Christmas wreath. After we talked about the products, now is the time for our super important strategy. And I think that everyone came to this webinar just to hear about this strategy. So I'm so excited to share with you the PGO strategy. Are you excited as I am? If so, write down in the chat right now, PGO. This is the strategy that will change your dropshipping business completely. Okay, just don't crush my chat. <laughs> Okay, so I see that everyone here excited as I am about the PGO strategy. Let's go. So the first part of the PGO is the products. So what type of products should we sell on our stores? And here I want to say one very important thing. And this thing is critical because if you don't do that, you will make profits in the short term, but for the long term after the Q4, you will not make uh, profits as much as you could if you would split your store to the right product niches. So first, I would split my store to different uh, type of products. Holiday niches, gifts, 
general product because people keep buying products as they used to do even before the holiday season. Other dropshippers best sellers, and I will show you now how we can find them easily, and products with coupons. Products with coupons are products that right now with a coupon, for example, on Amazon, and then you can list them to your store, uh, import the product, and then when someone buys from you the product, you can just go and order it with cheaper price than what you would do without the coupon. So it's a very interesting strategy. And during the Q4, there are a lot of coupons, so it's highly recommended. So how to find holiday niches and gifts? So here I'm super excited because this is our first reveal for today. And this is a system that we started to plan more than a year ago. And now finally we can release uh, this system. So what is this system? This system is a system for you that should help you to find profitable products. And let's see how it works. So the first thing that we have, first how you can get to the system is that now uh, from today, you have a small button here on AutoDS where you can just click on product research and it will take you to the system. Now, what can we do with the system? The first thing is that we have here the categories on the left. We can go to any of the categories and I will show you them soon. But another interesting thing is that you can filter and sort from more than 2 million different products that we have on the system right now. And every day we add more and more products from our statistics and our smart systems. So let's see what we can do. First, we can uh, go here and we can filter by product prices. So let's say that I want to uh, find only products with prices between 10 and $100. So I will add this filter. It will show all the products from this uh, uh, price range. The next thing that I can do is that I can also filter here by supplier. For now, we have here AliExpress and Amazon, and more suppliers are coming soon, and also some special surprises that I will explain about later. So let's say that I want to sell only from Amazon because I want to have faster shipping time and I want to bring the products on time to my customers. As you can see, we have here a lot of different products, all of them supported with AutoDS for sure. And you can just click on import product for any of the products and it will be imported directly to your AutoDS system. The next filter that we can do here is that we will do by rating. I want only products with rating of more than 4.5 stars and products with more than 100 reviews. After I do all these filters, I can start and open here different products and see what products I want to list to my store. For example, we have this uh, product and I can also get ideas here for other similar products to this one. And this is just the beginning. Soon we'll also have here statistics and more products in the database. So this is what uh, I would recommend you to start to uh, identify the products that you would like to sell. Another interesting thing that you can do using this system is to go to the system. Let me clear all everything I wrote. Go to holiday products and scroll down to get more ideas from holiday products that we prepared for you. So actually what AutoDS did is that we found different products that worked well for other dropshippers in the past years or for uh, products that we saw that should sell well for other dropshippers and we added all of them here. What I can also do is that I can write here gift and then I can get idea for pro gift products that I want uh, to list to my store. So as I said, part of the combination of different products that we would like to add are gift products. So this way I can get more ideas for gift products. And as I said, I can also open any of the products and get here ideas for other uh, products from this niche. The next idea that you can do is for sure to go to our uh, blog articles. As I said, you can use the e-commerce calendar 
to find ideas for other products for each and any of the holidays that we have. We always update the calendar. And also for the next year, we will have the updated articles for the specific niches for the specific year. And um, as I said before, here we have the gifts and we have also the holiday niches. So to get ideas for holiday niches, I will just go here. And as I said, I can just put, click here on holiday products, or I can also write here Christmas and find, find relevant products for this holiday. About similar products, I already showed you this feature and um, you can use it. And uh, for everyone who writes in the chat, yes, the system is available for everyone. You can just click here and change to the system. The next uh, part of uh, how to fill our store with relevant products for uh, the Q4 and in general with hot products is the uh, AutoDS Finder. So uh, I guess that most of you already know this feature, but I will explain about this option too. The AutoDS Finder is a tool that scans over 40,000 dropshippers every day and adds their best sellers to our uh, database. So using this tool, you can fill the part of what we said here, product with coupons and other dropshippers best sellers. So I will go to the AutoDS Finder. I will choose here, for example, 100 products from best sellers and uh, 50 coupon products. Then I can go here click on edit upload settings and I can edit everything that I would like to do about these products. Another interesting thing here, let me show you this too, is that we can split our products to variations. So let's say that you have um, a Christmas product, for example, a tree that on Amazon, the seller offers four different trees and uh, all of them are different variations of the same product. What every dropshipper would do is just to list the main variation of uh, the supplier. What you can do now on AutoDS is that you can go to settings, lister, and here you have the split variants into products. You can turn this feature on and then any variant of the product will be split to another completely new product this way, you can get more uh, optimization and more options to, uh, for people to find you on the search engine of eBay or Facebook, for example. Everyone who uh, asks questions on uh, the chat, I will answer all of the questions in the end of the webinar. But I also recommend you to write the uh, questions from now to the Q&A section and not to the chat because uh, I will not go over the questions on the chat, only on the Q&A section. So the next thing that I would like to mention here is that it's nice to import products. So we have the uh, gifts and we have the general products and we have the other best sellers or coupon products, but it's highly recommended also to remove products that are not selling well for us. So how can we do that? The first thing is that after we import the product from the product research system, for example, we will find the product here on the drafts. When I import the product, I can put a tag for the product. And uh, using this method, I will be able to go after that and remove all of the products that are not relevant for the specific holiday anymore. For example, in my store, I have a lot of different trays that I listed for the uh, Q4 uh, or for the Christmas. I can go now easily here, write tags, choose Christmas trays, for example, and I will be able to remove all of these products with the click of a button. Now, if you don't want to work hard and uh, add tag to each and any of the products that you list to your store, what you can also do is to use this feature, add categories to tags. And using this option, all the products will be listed to your store with the tags inside the product uh, on AutoDS. By the way, 
for a Facebook dropshipping or for Shopify dropshippers, you will have the tags on your product, on your store. Uh, for example, if you sell on Shopify, you will see the tags also on your Shopify store. And for Facebook Marketplace, also you will have it on the store. And the good part of it is that it will also optimize your products for the search engine of uh, Facebook and more people will find your products. The next part of the PGO strategy, PGO strategy is the growth. So growth is one of the most important uh, parts of any dropshipping business. It doesn't matter if it's eBay, Shopify, Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, Amazon, Wix. For all of them, we want to maximize our store uh, to get as many sales as possible. And to do that, we need more products on our stores. So some important things that we should uh, mention here. First part is that uh, when something sells well for us, we can maximize the sales of this specific product using the AutoDS helper. So how does it work? Let's say that I got an order for any of the products here. I can always open the product on Amazon. I can use the AutoDS helper extension to go to the niche of the product, to the category here. And then I can just grab all of the products from this page and import all of the products together to my store. But I wouldn't only do that. I would also go to the store of the supplier and take the products from here. Now what I can do, I can take all of these different product IDs, go to AutoDS and import all of them here. Just reading to see that it's clear for everyone. Cool. Okay. The next part here is that uh, we would really like to use this amazing season to create new stores and list to these stores what sells well for us. So, for example, if something works well for us on eBay, we can create more eBay stores or Facebook Marketplace stores and list these products to the other selling channels. If something sells well for us on Shopify, why not to get some traffic from eBay or Facebook Marketplace and list the products to these channels too? And with AutoDS, it's very easy. You can add as many stores as you want here from Shopify, from Facebook, from eBay, and then you can manage all of the stores together in parallel. So here we talked about maximizing the same store. Here we talk about taking the products from one store, push them to more than one store together. And in this way, you can just multiply your stores, your uh, profits again and again and again. We see dropshippers with 20, 30, and even with the hundreds different st stores, and it works really well for, for them. And I will show you an example very soon. Another thing here about the maximization to one store or to different stores, this is the product research uh, system keyword search. So let's say that I have this product that uh, sold for me. I can take the keywords from here, go to the product research system. I will put it here on the search, click enter, and then I will find other different products that are relevant to this product. So if I put here onion or uh, for example, the others uh, part of the title, you'll find for me different products and then I can just use these products to list uh, more products that are already working for me. So for example, I can see this product. This one is very similar to what I sold and probably if the other one sold well for me, so this one will also work for me well. I still see a lot of uh, different questions on the chat, so please uh, save them for the end of the webinar and write them to the Q&A uh, section. So we talked a lot about uh, growth, growth inside the store, adding more products to get more visibility on the search uh, uh, results of eBay or Facebook Marketplace, or even on uh, Shopify. So let's understand more the big numbers world. 
So this is one of the topics that I include in every webinar that we do about the Q4 as dropshipping is the number of scale, is the game of scale, sorry. I'll talk here about eBay stores, but for Shopify and Facebook, it's similar. As much as you scale, the cost per product decreases. So let's see this example. Let's say that you have the starter store on eBay. This store gives you 250 products for free plus $0.3 per extra store. It means that my price for 1000 listings will be almost $20. And if I make sales of 10% 10, 10 in profit for $21 average sale, I will need almost 10 orders to cover the fees. Let's check what happens with premium store. With premium store, we will get from eBay 10,000 listings included. And then for 1,000 listings, it will cost for us $6. And we need just three different orders to cover the fees. So write down in the chat if someone here thinks that he cannot sell three products from 1,000 products in their stores. Okay, I don't see any comments and it makes sense. Let's talk about, uh, for now we talked about eBay. For Facebook, for sure, uh, it's free, so it doesn't matter. There is no reason why not to scale up. Just list more products, get more traffic for fa from Facebook for the keywords that you listed. And for Shopify, I want to show you this example. So we have the uh, Overstock, very, very big e-commerce site. I'm sure that most of you know that. They actually created a collection for the Black Friday um, sale. So what I recommend you to do is that everyone who has Shopify store or Wix store, create a specific uh, collection or category on your site for the sale of uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas. We saw that it works really well on different e-commerce stores and it's highly recommended you to do that. I see people who write here that they sell uh, three products out of 20. Yeah, I understand and this is why I show that uh, for sure from 1,000 products, people can sell at least two. The next reveal of this webinar, I promised you a lot of interesting things today, a lot of interesting, interesting feature reveals. So the next one is the Aqualine support. So this feature is uh, relevant only for eBay sellers. So Shopify, Facebook, I'm sorry, but this slide is very important for eBay sellers. So Aqualine is actually a, a shipping company that's supported by 17Track, the biggest site for uh, tracking your uh, order status. And what interesting about this service is that this service can masquerade your zip code. It means that if you have a product that shipped from example from Amazon, what we had until now is that any product was uh, shipped from different address and then eBay were flagging our accounts. What we have now with Aqualine is that Aqualine will show on 17 track the exact zip code that you put on AutoDS. So how does it work? You go to your uh, orders page on AutoDS. I will not see here uh, this because it's a Shopify store. But if you have eBay store, you will have here the Aqualine. It will look like uh, this. Convert all tracking numbers to Aqualine. And then what it means is that every order will show to eBay that it shipped from the same zip code. I think that this uh, feature is amazing. We saw amazing results and I will show that uh, really soon uh, from part of the stores that are working with that for a very uh, long time. Uh, manually. So how does it work? First, uh, why it helps you first, it will help you to become top rated seller back. It will help you to get more traffic to your store. And for sure, it will also un uh, unflag your account and help you to increase your selling limits. This is a store of one of the uh, customers on AutoDS. This AutoDS member actually makes $53,000 in profits from dropshipping from Amazon to eBay using this service. He helped us to test that and uh, this is one of his stores. 
So, uh, so this not one, these are multiple stores, but this is his account. So just think big, grow, and I'm sure that you can also get to these results. The next thing about growth is that we always want to keep our customers happy. So the first thing is that, as I mentioned before, free shipping is critical to put on your stores and for your any, any of your products, even if you pay for shipping, what I recommend you to do is to go to AutoDS, pricing settings, and check this thing, include shipping price. It will help you actually to uh, add automatically the shipping price into the price of the product and give your customers the feeling of free shipping. Next thing here is that, as I said, fast shipping is super critical. So we recommend you to use the Fulfill the AutoDS service. It's a service that you just load balance into AutoDS and we can fulfill your orders from any US supplier fully automatically, including returns and, um, and the tracking number updates. It's supported for all US suppliers except Costco. The last thing of the PGO is optimization. Before I jump into this part, write down in the chat that everything is clear, that you're happy with the new systems, with the new releases, and with what's going on here on the webinar. Amazing. So optimization. We already have products on our stores, we did a huge growth. We created new stores. We added more products to optimize our uh, search results on the search engine of uh, eBay or Facebook Marketplace. And we also created collections on our Shopify and Wix stores. So now people can easily find what they uh, want and the top products for the holiday season. So um, everyone will be happy. Everyone will buy from us. But what now? Now we want to optimize our products to sell even more. So let's see how to do that. The first thing here is uh, the messages to buyers. After we got a sale, it's very important to stay in touch with our customers. So for eBay, we have automation for that. For Shopify, it's coming soon. But what we have is three uh, messages that we want to send to our customers. It doesn't matter if you do that automatically using AutoDS for eBay or you do that manually on Facebook and Shopify. If you work on these sites for Shopify, you can just use apps, which will help you to do that automatically. For Facebook, just go and do that manually. So we will send three messages to our buyers. Thank you for buying from us. Here's your tracking number and please, please leave us a positive feedback. So these are the three messages that are very important to send to our customers. The next thing is that after something, uh, sold for us, we see a product that already bringing us some profits, we will go and optimize the product. So how to do that? I will go to any of my products. I will open the product. And what I can do now is that first I will go to the images of the product and I can click on edit here and I can optimize the, uh, the image of the product. Something bad with my connection right now. Okay, so I can optimize the product and I can do anything that I would like to do with the product. For example, I can write here, um, best Christmas, For example, and then I can do anything that I would like to do with the product here. And it's highly recommended for you to optimize products that are selling well for you. The next thing that we can do here, we can crop, we can uh, rotate the image, we can drone that, add images and everything that we want. The next part is to add a watermark. So I can go to the product, I can add first to my store. I will go here, set a store watermark, I will add here a badge of Christmas. 
Then I can go to any of my products that sells well for me and just click on add watermark and I will have the image with the watermark. By the way, I can also do that uh, before it sells because it's very easy to do. The next thing that I will do is that I will go to the product, optimize the title for the holiday season. I will add, um, I will add item specifics to the product to show it uh, in a beautiful way on my uh, product listing. So um, it will increase my conversion rate. And this is why I really recommend it to do that only for products that sell well, because for these products, we it worth our time and it will bring us more sales. What are the best selling products on eBay? I see someone who has here. I just talked about it before. The next part here is that uh, people look for uh, cheaper prices at the one hand, but at the other hand, we want also to maximize our profits as much as possible. So as I said before, when we import the products to our stores, we should put a tag of the relevant holiday, for example, uh, Christmas or tree or anything. So for these products, we want to maximize our profit fast because these products will not stay with us forever, but we want right now to make as much uh, profit as possible for these products. So I will go to AutoDS, Automations, Add Automation. I will uh, write here, for example, Christmas products, click Next. And here, what I can do is I can decide that after the product sold for me, for example, five times uh, for, let's say, seven days, what I will do is that I will set price and increase the price by X percent, for example, 1% after each sale. Why it's recommended? First, it will increase our sales. Second, it gives us the opportunity first to test products with cheaper prices. And then only after we saw that the product sell, we can increase the prices and make more profit from them. One thing that I wanted also to mention here is because we created the automation just for Christmas, for example, and not forever, we can also choose here tags, right here, the tags that we prepared before. And then we can apply the automation for products um, from uh, these tags. So we can just click here, finish, and the automation will run on all these products from now. Some additional upcoming launches that we have, and soon we will also uh, add uh, our special uh, guest. So some interesting things that are upcoming. First, we have uh, upcoming millions of new products to our product resource system. So right now, as I said, we have here over 2 million products and more other millions of products are coming. We will have private and wholesale suppliers on this system. We will have a feature for the AutoDS Finder that will help you to import products from specific categories or prices filters. We will have more advanced product uh, finding analytics. So on the product research system, this one we will give you analytics for each uh, product here. And we have some new amazing services that are upcoming for the mentorship program students. And also we have a huge secret release in the next month. So when should we start implementing everything that discussed on this webinar? There are some critical parameters for our stores. So for eBay or Facebook, it's critical to, for us to have the sales history. For Shopify, it's important for us to test different products. We want also to have a proven product that's already selling well for us. We want to gain uh, trust from our buyers. And basically, Q4 is the time for profit. So when is the right time to start? Should start right now for the reasons that uh, I just described today. So before we uh, go to our interesting part of this webinar with uh, our special guest that I will show you now who is the guest in more details than what I showed you before, I want to ask you one thing. 
In the beginning of the webinar, we talked about the potential of the Q4 and the huge opportunity of this time. If you choose to jump on this opportunity and grab the profits this year, write down in the chat right now, profits Q4. If you want uh, for us to jump into our Q&A se section of this webinar, stay with us, it's upcoming really soon. So we want to help you to maximize your uh, potential of this period of the Q4 and actually to skyrocket your stores to the profits that I showed you before and for the profits that I showed you of different stores during this webinar. And I want to show you how to do that, but before that, I want to understand a little bit more about our uh, audience here. So a few questions and we jump into the Q&A. Did you learn why the holiday season is so important for dropshippers? Did you understand what to do to increase your sales during the Q4? Do you think that by using the tools I showed you on uh, this webinar, you can really maximize your profits? And are you excited as I am about our guest joining us on, in a few minutes? Write down in the chat. Yes, for all, yes. Yes, six, five, four. <laughs> okay, amazing. So I have last one question, question here. If AutoDS could help you succeed in your dropshipping business, would it be something you'd be interested in if we could actually take you hand by hand to the success during the Q4? What would you say about it? Amazing. So here's what we prepared for you. I will just show you that really quickly and then we jump into uh, our Q&A section with the, our mentor. So we prepared for you a few packages that should help you to maximize the Q4 without too much budget and too much money spending because we really want to be with you during this period because we saw what it does in the last year for other uh, stores of people who attended this webinar. So we prepared for you a package that you can choose before between uh, these three different packages. One is for eBay. It's the advanced 1000 uh, products package plus mentor package for three months. The mentor means this is someone who I will show in the next slide who can actually answer all your questions on tickets on AutoDS about dropshipping. So our support on AutoDS just help you with uh, AutoDS related questions, our mentor will actually help you with any dropshipping related question. So this package is for $170 instead of $237. We have similar package for Facebook Marketplace Starter plus mentor package for three months for $180 and Shopify Starter plus, uh, plus mentor package for three months. And that's not all. Our special guest who will join us in something like three minutes, Daniel, wanted to help you even more. When he saw this webinar, he saw the package that we prepared for you and said, hey, we all have our mentorship program. Why not to help even more to these men uh, members who will take this package? So first, who is Daniel? Daniel is a dropshipper and mentor in AutoDS, and he's also our e-commerce department manager. He's a full-time dropshipper for over five years. He owns over 20 e-commerce stores that ranked in over uh, $1.5 million uh, in sales in the last year. He's mentoring over 500 AutoDS members with one-on-one uh, -on -one support for dropshipping related questions. And he's managing Shopify, eBay, Amazon, Facebook Marketplace stores and other different uh, channels that we do together. So, here is just one of the many stores that uh, Daniel is managing. So after Daniel told me that, hey, Leo, we are offering a package, but I want to help our dropshippers even more, here what we prepared for you. 
We prepared one more bonus in addition to the packages, which is a Christmas preparation masterclass plus Q&A with our mentor who made over $1.5 million in sales in the last year. This webinar, if you just take it in private from Daniel, it will cost you actually more than $200. Here it's $200 because it's a group webinar, but it's private group only for people who take this offer today from this webinar. So what are you going to get from the package that we prepared to help you during the Q4? You can get the eBay Advanced 1000 products uh, package plus mentor package uh, for three months and the bonus that we just showed you for just $170. You can get the Facebook Marketplace package for just $180 and Shopify for just $180. With all of the packages, you will also get the Christmas preparation masterclass with Daniel. And that's not all. When I told to Daniel, okay, if we already creating something for Christmas, let's also prepare this, these people for the new year because we are giving them three month package for this price. So uh, what he decided to do is also to create a new year 2022 store building strategy masterclass only for the people who come from this webinar and this value will be $150. So the total bonuses are Christmas preparation masterclass plus new year 2022 store building strategy for $350. So here's what we prepared for you. Go right now, the timer starts now for 30 minutes while we do the Q&A with Daniel, who will open his camera now. Daniel, I will open your access in a second. If you go to autodias.com, let me send you that, autodias.com slash 2021-deal, you will have here, the timer is running for 30 minutes that we do the Q&A, and after that, it will be closed completely. So what you can take here is the eBay package. Uh, just make sure that you take the most recommended old advanced because they contain the uh, master classes with Daniel, Shopify, and Facebook marketplace package. So one important thing here for existing customers, this deal will also work for you. It will just charge you partial amount for the package according to how many days you have left for your package. And uh, for bigger customers who need bigger packages, if you contact the support one hour uh, after the webinar, up to one hour after the webinar, and write them that you want the deal for your package right now on AutoDS, we will prepare a custom package for you because we really want to help everyone. So Daniel, let me add you to uh, the Q&A and we will start the Q&A uh, session. Okay. Daniel, I promoted you to the panelist, so everyone who wants to ask us any question from now, just um, just write in the Q&A se section and we will answer all your questions. Hey, Daniel, welcome, Daniel. Uh, let me unmute you. Hello, Lior. Hello, everybody. Hey, Daniel. Write down in the chat, everyone who is happy as I am that Daniel already joined us here. Daniel is our mentor and he is one of the most amazing dropshippers I ever saw in my life. Cool. So uh, Daniel, I will start reading questions from the Q&A section. We have tons of them right now. Um, and everyone who wants to add any question, you can do that um, now. One second. I just want to hear from here. Cool. Okay. Um, 
let me clean here a bit. Okay, um, so Daniel, I will answer that. Is there a mastermind offer is for a three month uh, time? Yes, the, the offers here are packages for three months. So when you upgrade now, you will get full three months uh, of this package. If you're an existing member, you will get three months for uh, your uh, current billing cycle. Um, do you have a bundle deal for all three? Uh, Henry, if you want to take all the different three packages, you can take now one of them and then reach us on the support and we will create a custom deal for you. Daniel, if you see related questions to you, you can already read them and uh, answer. Okay, guys, so let's start. I see we have a lot of questions here. And let's start with <clears throat> this question here. If we drop ship from Walmart, eBay customer will get Walmart box. Yes, they will, but this is not a problem. And this is also for Amazon or any supplier do you use. If customers get the um, retailer box, there is no issue because they are comfortable with this because many, <clears throat> many companies are now using Amazon or Walmart for stock their they items and they ship directly from the seller center, from the, the suppliers to their customers. So it's normal for customers today to get hotel box like Walmart and Amazon. So it's totally no problem. Sometimes they can ask and you can simply ask where well that you are using these stores for stock your items and you are sending to them using the fulfillment center. Cool. I uh, see people still writing on the chat. Please uh, write uh, back to the Q&A section because only there we see. Um, Daniel, someone asks here, should I consistently list uh, products to my store? Yes, Alexander. It's safe to bulk list the same items to your eBay stores. They are not going to link your stores for the same items as there are dozens of sellers that are selling the same items. But anyway, uh, be sure to have different descriptions for each store, not because eBay is linking them, but is anyway um, a good way to have everything separate, even is not used from eBay to link. So yes, you can book list on uh, multiple stores, the same items. Okay. I see here someone who asks, uh, I will answer that uh, if he can uh, buy from a uh, Walmart because he's outside the US. Yes, you can use the Fulfill by AutoDS service and um, we will uh, fulfill all your orders automatically. You just need to load balance into AutoDS and then you even don't need to have any Walmart account. Um, someone asks, how does the mentorship program works? So when you enroll in the mentorship program, you will get special access to the ticket system and the chat live and soon other things. And you can speak directly with me, sending tickets or chatting. And you can speak with me about everything related to the drop shipping business. And I can help you with your daily problems or with growing your stores and everything that is related with the business. Um, that's all. It's very simple. You just click a roll and, and speak with me. Cool. I see someone who asked here uh, if he has right now uh, more products than what we offer, what he can do because he wants to take the offer. You can just uh, write now on the support chat that you try to get, but it's too small for you and the support will help you with that. Um, Okay, uh, I'm not a starter. I have 2,000 sales on my personal Facebook Marketplace uh, account and 400 on Shopify in the last two, three weeks. I use Shopify plus Facebook Marketplace. I want to get to the next level. Can Daniel help me? Yes, sure. I can help you. Um, of course, there is always a way to scale multi-business. The... 
the good of internet is this, that you are not limited on how many sales you do. So if you are doing 2,000 now, you can make 4,000 tomorrow. This is why online business is a good opportunity. So yes, I can help you. Uh, so it's something more long-term. You can just enroll in mentorship and I will, wait, I will wait for you there. I'm going to ask you if Amazon or Walmart deactivated our accounts for too many uh, orders. Uh, it happens to a lot of dropshippers, but on uh, AutoDS fulfilled uh, service, we know how to handle it. So it's not a problem. Uh, does your blog page uh, or YouTube channel include what are the best products to sell? Yes, for sure. We have that always Liran and Neely working out to bring you uh, the best products for every season, actually, every month, every holiday. We work really hard on that. Um, can you help with Facebook shops and not just uh, marketplace? Yes, I can help you with Facebook shop, but uh, it's a little different than marketplace. But if you are all in the mentorship, I can help you because it's more, uh, I mean, you need more documentations for that, but I can really help you to set up everything correctly. Is it possible to do the option using AutoDSFM from Philippines? Yeah, for sure, it's not a problem. Um, can we list different categories on eBay? Yes, of course, you can list the multiple categories. Also, I suggest you to do that because if you have enough selling limits and you are going to list more items, it's a good way to have multiple categories so you can catch more customers possible. And if some, some customer is buying from you, I don't know, some toy, maybe they will find some tool uh, that they need for kitchen. So because one customer get in your store, they will start to browse around and see your items. So if you have more uh, categories, you, are, you get more possibly to upsell and cross-sell your items. Well, uh, is it possible to open a Facebook marketplace store if your account uh, is on other country, which is not US? Yes, you can sell on Facebook uh, from anywhere. You have just the difference that if you are not from USA, you will not get the checkout. Uh, for who doesn't know, the checkout is uh, a system that Facebook us that people can buy directly from Facebook page with credit card or PayPal and Facebook will send to you the money. But this for now is available just to USA people. But if you are from another country, you can sell to Facebook, Facebook marketplace and get free traffic and you can uh, send to the customers your PayPal, li PayPal link or your Shopify link where they can buy the item. There are a lot of people doing that and this is working well. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, I just got a message from the team. I'm, so, I'm sorry that I forgot uh, to say that. We didn't want to create too much overload on uh, Daniel for the mentorship after this webinar because usually what happens after master classes is that everyone in rush to take the offers and use the new systems so uh, we have their 10 last spots and they don't want you to lose that so go right now to the link that i will show that i showed now on the chat and take the offer because you don't want to miss this opportunity um how do i just okay my profit is being outweighed by fees how do i adjust to make it profitable uh, so this means that there is something wrong with your settings. It's important to be sure that all the settings, so all the fees and profit are calculated uh, in the good way. So what you need to do is first understand all your fees. What, what are the fees? eBay commissions, payment commissions, and currency conversions, Amazon taxes, um, sponsored listings and basically everything that you pay uh, on your sale. After you do a list of these, you sum all of them and you put this number on your fees number. After you have separate a profit uh, number where you actually need to put what you want to earn for any sale. So some people do those mistake that they mix them 
and they use just one number, but it's very important to keep them separate so you avoid any mistake and you don't lose money. So just make a list and be sure that everything is set up, set up correctly. <clears throat> Uh, someone wrote this is a great information I hope you post the video yeah we will post it how can I use Aqualine uh, it's very easy you'll go to settings um, orders and here you will have the tracking conversion and you will have here the option to choose Aqualine for Amazon US supplier and eBay store this is Shopify store and this is why I don't see it here but it will work for you for automatic orders or for fillable to be a service uh, my domain is .fr. Is it safe to list on .com? I didn't get the question. Uh, oh, Lalit is asking if we you can use the same email for the mentorship. Yes, you can use your normal AutoDS account. Just go to chat icon and open the pop up and click on chat with mentor. After, just follow the instruction there. Yeah, you have here the options. Uh, you just open here the chat and then you will have here the chat with mentor. It will be available for you only if you actually on the mentorship program. Otherwise, the uh, ticket will be just uh, closed automatically. Um, someone asks here is if it's important to use templates for eBay products. Absolutely, yes. Um, there is just few ways to brand your store on eBay. So it's very important that you use all the ways you can. So you can build your, um, your brand and you can um, give trustness to the buyers because if some buyers just jump in your store and it's just blank with, you know, just random uh, white here and there, they don't trust to buy from you. So it's important to have good templates and to personalize your store, give you a good name and you need look professional. Yeah, I think if you would like, if you buy from a brand, you always have the template. It's not something just text. No side do that. Um, uh, someone asking, I'm using BlueCare from AutoDS. Is it the, the same as Aqualine? No, because BlueCare Express doesn't masquerade your zip code and uh, Aqualine does. That's the biggest difference here. And another question that I want to answer here, someone asked what import starter and advanced means. So let me explain. I will give you an, answer, I will give you an example on eBay. Let, let's say on Shopify, it's the same for all of them. But the difference here is that for the starter, you also get the masterclass with Daniel and this masterclass, you get the two masterclasses and you have uh, more products that you can monitor, uh, 1000 products instead of 100 for this package. Uh, for advanced, you have 3000. Um, and also you get all the other features, for example, the product research, which is not included on this one, but included on the other packages. It's highly recommended to take the starter or advanced, but probably the starter because uh, it will cover everything in it. Um, does AutoDS fee calculator take all those fees into account? So if you talk about this one, yeah, then, yeah. Yeah, sorry, Leo. You can answer what you would add or not add to these things here. Yeah, I can also answer. So basically we prepared it for you to have all of the fees, but you also have the payment fees, for example, sometimes or any additional fees that you should uh, think about it. For example, taxes on Amazon that you should uh, take into conclusion. Is auto, is Aqualine. is Aqualine used for TBA on Facebook Marketplace? No, it's only for eBay. Okay, see here a question if Aqualine will uh, convert all of the uh, tracking numbers or only the TBA. It's highly recommended to convert everything because it doesn't make sense to have only part of your product from the same zip code. You want to have all of them from the same zip code. Someone is asking if you can drop ship from another 
country uh, to USA. Yes, you can. Um, yes, you will get some higher fees, like international fee, but it's not a big problem. I mean, you just need to increase your fees about three or five percent. And this is not an issue just because you, you are... Uh, when you sell, it doesn't matter that you have the lower price. And also, I'm going to ask well to all the questions about the profit margin. Um, as many people think that you need to have the lower price to, to get sales on eBay, that is not true. The important is to get the right products and to get a good amount of products to get traffic from eBay. Uh, you don't need to have the lower price as eBay is a search engine products. So just be sure to sell the correct products and you can sell also double price than your competitors. Is it possible to grow eBay, Shopify, and Facebook at the same time as beginner? Yes, you can. Uh, but also, if it's the first time that you are selling online, I suggest, I suggest you to learn each platform, where are you selling for. And after you learn the platform, you can jump on the new one. Because if you do all together and you don't know anything about that, you can make mistakes and slow down your possibility to success. I've reached my uh, eBay limit until my uh, next monthly review. How would mentorship uh, help me grow? Um, mentorship is about also optimization. Um, Uh, Barut is asking if you can target Facebook ads in USA when you are based in Europe. Yes, you can target the ads from Facebook anywhere you need. So, yes. I have uh, 478 products now, but why could not I join the class? Um, you're above uh, the package probably. Um, oh, wait, for this one, it should work for you. If you took this one, it will not work for you. But if you uh, take any of these, it should work for you. So just uh, try if you have a problem right to the support. Is it possible to sell eBay product in the Facebook marketplace? Yes, you can. You can use eBay as supplier on AutoDS. And you can, you can use any supplier you have in the AutoDS list. Uh, there are currently 24 suppliers that you can use and you can drop ship from. <clears throat> uh, also, sorry. Yeah. Eleanor is asking uh, that he, he got fled on uh, eBay. Um, oh, we can fix that. You can use Aqualine now if you are selling to USA. Uh, Leo just spoke about that before. Uh, and you can get the same location for all your orders with Aquiline, and this should fix your flag on account. Guys, we have 10 last minutes for the offer. Please don't lie to me as you do after every webinar. We already uh, forgot, I didn't uh, have time. Now it's the time and we how many people we have here? We have hundreds of people here on the uh, masterclass. So if you want, and I'm, by the way, those of you who wrote that the link doesn't work for you, maybe it's because it's already finished and overbooked, but you can give it a try and see if it works for you. Uh, is Facebook Marketplace automated for AutoDS fulfilled orders? Not for now, but it will be very, very soon. Uh, Maurice is asking about the warnings from Amazon about uh, selling. Yes, Amazon is getting a little strict with buying from them and using them as supplier. But if you are Issues with Amazon, you can always use for five by out of DS service and you will not get this problem anymore. So just uh, join to for five by out of DS and let out of DS for five all your orders for you and you will not get this problem anymore. And I see people who write that they have 800 listings and cannot sign up again, write our support and they will help you with that. 
uh, but make sure that you take this or this package because this one is too small for you. Uh, what about taxes using fulfill by auto DS? Uh, it will add you the taxes to the price from Amazon. You saw a lot, lot of people is asking about fees on uh, uh, eBay. So I want just give you some number, guys, so you can have an idea what fees uses. So the average fees, if you are based on USA, is between 16 and 22% uh, this change on supplier. If you are using Amazon or Walmart, you have taxes. So we'd be a little higher, around 21, 22. If you are outside USA, you will get currency conversion and also international fee. So you will get average, average number between 20 and 27%. So this is the average. Uh, do your calculation, but remember these numbers. For those of you who asked me about the Aqualine, you can uh, just choose here, convert the uh, Amazon shipping. Uh, so convert all tracking numbers to Aqualine here with zip code the uh, masquerade. And then it will change all your uh, zip codes or like all your tracking numbers to the zip code that you have here uh, below the listing. Someone asks if on Facebook Marketplace it should uh, concentrate on just one uh, niche or random products according to best selling suggestions. Daniel disappeared. Uh, uh. Will starter plan will be 180 monthly? Uh, yes, but it's not monthly, it's for three month package. Uh, oh, Daniel, you're back. So I had a question here. If uh, on Facebook Marketplace, if you would concentra concentrate on one specific niche or you would just put the best selling products? So as I thought before, there is no reasons to sell just in one category, and um, especially in Facebook that you have no selling limits. And of course, you are not going to list from any category, just on hot categories and on trend categories, uh, like now in holidays, categories as shows earlier uh, before. So yes, anyway, there is not so much Difference if you focus on just one niche or you use multiple niche uh, is just in your own strategy. I personally prefer to sell from all the categories possible uh, in my stores, as I explained it before. So yes, this, this is just on you. Okay, I'm just looking for questions that we still didn't answer because I see questions that repeat a lot. Um, if you find something done, I can answer. How can we show that our item is coming from our store? I didn't really understand the question. Uh, someone is asking the profit margin. Um, that he usually is used. So dropshippers usually use between 10 and 20% profit margin, but you can also use higher profit margin. I know personally people that are selling with 60% profit margin. This is because they do the correct product research. They sell products that are in trend. So this um, is not proof that you can sell expensive items you can if you have the correct items if you prefer um bulk listings and just don't do product research you need to list with 
lower profit margin, like 10% or 5%, and you can use automation as Leo show for increase automatically your price after the item sell. Autodesk able to upload Walmart tracking. If you use the fulfilled Autodesk service, it will do that for you automatically. Um, oh, we have an interesting question about Asha. Uh, he's asking why people use eBay if they can buy from Amazon or for cheaper price. Uh, I think I asked this question in over 100 times in this years. Uh, is when, I, I will do an example. If you need something, you just go down to your home and you go to buy that. You are not thinking to make 10 kilometers for buy $1 cheaper that uh, because you are comfortable in your street, in your shop, and it's the same online. People that use one retailer, that use one marketplace, usually will always use that. They will not change. They will not even look on hotter marketplace for cheaper items because they trust that marketplace, because they know that marketplace and they are comfortable with that. So uh, personally, I buy everything from Amazon. And I never look at eBay or other marketplace for cheaper price when I buy something, I just go on my personal Amazon account and I buy it. Um, of course, maybe I can save money around, but I know that Amazon will ship on my address in time, fast, and I, I get correct customer care. So I, I don't want to look uh, anywhere else. Uh, this is the reason people buy from eBay, because they always did. Cool. Uh, guys, we have one last minute left if the package is still open. Um, so just uh, so you know. Um, okay. Someone is asking if we can drop shipping using AutoDS from eBay in Nigeria. Yes, you can use AutoDS from any country and you can sell on eBay from any country. So from Nigeria, you can sell to Amazon, uh, sorry, to eBay USA or any eBay you want. You are no problem about that. Why AutoDS doesn't allow to use multiple locations for uh, item location because it will uh, actually suspend your account from a uh, future, uh, from experience that we had in the past. Um, mm. Eric is asking if he can rewatch the, this webinar. Yes, it's recorded and you can uh, look it again every time you want. Cool, I uh, just signed up, welcome. Actually, a few seconds before the end. Okay, the uh, registration here uh, closed. So we will uh, keep answering your questions for last few minutes. And uh, then we will uh, finish this webinar. By the way, I hope that you enjoyed the webinar. Um, can I use the same email used for eBay US to open a store in eBay UK? And will it be the same name? Uh, you, you can register the same email for multiple stores, but you can use your store to sell uh, on other countries, just go to, uh, if you are, I don't know, from Italy, just go to ebay.com and use the same email to log in to your eBay and you will be able to use. Products directly from Amazon. Actually, it's not a new policy. It's here for, I think, three years. And it's not an issue um, because eBay doesn't care, doesn't really care where, what suppliers you are using. The problem is that when people started to use Amazon as supplier and they sold a lot because it's a good way to sell online and easy, uh, they didn't have a good customer service. eBay cares about customer service and 
what I'm saying now is very important for everybody. Um, if you are going to start to selling on eBay, it's important to ask where to your buyers in time. This means less than 24 hours, handle your returns, your cases, shipping and delivery in time. This is what eBay cares about. And um, usually when people start using Amazon as suppliers or in general drop shipping, they don't care about these things and they get suspended. And they think that they are suspended because drop shipping. It's not that they get suspended because they are not acting professional on their store. So uh, eBay introduced this policy but they are very soft on this. They are not suspending people drop shipping from Amazon. And you have the proof because there are thousands and thousands of people doing that. Uh, AutoDS itself grow in these years. This means that a lot of people started using Amazon and anyway, Walmart and other retailers as suppliers, but they give good customer service to their customers. So this is the important, I think, most important things if you want to do the, um, business with eBay. Care about your customers. I remember how you would feel if you wouldn't be treated well as a customer. Would you buy from the same place again? Um, okay, I see here a question. If you can maintain a China and the USA location uh, in your store at the same time, uh, Daniel, you want to share your opinion about that? Uh, so I didn't get the question. Uh, if you can maintain China and USA location in your store at the same time without any risk. Uh, yes, you can use uh, a multiple location. I mean, you can have a listing from China and a listing from USA, another from Germany. There is no risk on that. If would be, eBay wouldn't give you the option to do that. So it's an uh, option on eBay. And you can do that. Just be sure that it's accurate and you ship from the correct country you listed for. Don't, li don't list items from USA and you ship from China. This is very dangerous and also is not correct uh, for your customers. Okay. Uh, what happens if package comes from Amazon? Will the customer complain? I think you already answered that. Yeah, I did it. Okay. Is it possible to get one-on-one -on -one mentorship? That's actually what happens. Uh, just uh, support from Daniel one-on-one. -on -one. How long did it take you to start getting multiple sales a day? I'm only getting one or two every two weeks. Um, this, I mean, is not very important how long it took for me because for everybody is different. This um, depends on your strategy, your numbers, and what are you doing. I can't really ask where to you because I don't know what you are doing now. Uh, so I just tell you a role on mentorship and send me more details like your store, what, what are you doing now? And I can say you what you are doing wrong on or improve the situation. Uh, in general, be sure to have enough products to sell because a mistake people do is to think they can sell hundreds with one or two products. I mean, you, you can sometimes, but it's not the average, not just in drop shipping, but even in the got the warehouse with stock, they have hundreds or thousands of items. They buy from stock in China and they sell. It's the same in shipping you need to have a lot of products to start your cash flow and start to make profits you can't really do a lot of sales with just one or two products maybe in some event in the here like christmas you can daniel i have a question for you uh, for me like i see that the team writes that uh, everyone booked and like it's overloaded the the program the question is if we want and can uh, open it for another 15 people. And um, so then the team can open it now. Yes, let's do that. I see that we should help a lot of people. So yes. 
I wrote to the team to open it for other 10 minutes now. So if everyone wants, we opened it for 15 last places. Uh, just because I see that we are still here on the webinar and still over 200 people here with us today. So we want to help the more people. Um, okay, we can't bulk list if we don't get limit on this minute. So at first, it's just a matter of time. And okay, started. So Navindo is asking, how long should we list a product to see if selling or not? There is not a fixed time you should keep a product. Um, usually, what I do is to keep a product at least one month, so at least 30 days. Because uh, the ideal situation is that you list a product and it will sell within one and two days. But this is not going to happen always. So especially if you work, work with thousands of items, you will have a lot of items that will not sell. So it's important to keep them at least one month and see if they sell or not sell. After one month, you can remove the products that didn't sell the month before and upload the new ones and the day after the same work and so on. So you can have always fresh products in your store and you can get both from eBay because when you list new products, eBay will get you new traffic. And that's all. Does the package help with basic store uh, setup? Basically, we will uh, share with you the right articles and then if you have problems, we can answer that. Daniel can answer that. Uh, can you repeat this question, please? No, just someone asked if we can help on the mentorship program to set up store. Oh, yes, sure. I, I, can, I can help you uh, to set up the store, your settings and your first steps. Just Errol and email me every, every questions you have. Uh, wow, I see a lot of questions also on the chat. Guys, please write it to the Q&A section because we don't look into the chat. So one is asking, how oh, can you hide the invoice from Amazon? When you order from Amazon, be sure you select the gift option when you make the order. Also, if you are using full five by adult, yes, you have the option in your settings to select the gift option. And um, when you send an item using gift option, Amazon will not include the invoice. So the buyer will not see the original price of the item. Amazing. Uh, someone raised hand. What does it mean? How can I find the questions here from all the questions? Um, I'm really trying to find the question. Okay, I found it. Uh, can you apply feature to buy from managed payment when our personal account reached order limits? Um, basically, you can go to feedback dot autodscom and here you can and here you can uh, write any uh, feature request that you want we always listen we always uh, promote things from here so any feature request you can always put here Ilya is asking if fulfillment system yes will apply coupons on Amazon automatically. Will do um, will will do this, Leo? Yeah, we apply the coupons for real for automatic orders and fulfilled uh, BioDS orders. How would we use the mentorship and how frequency can we get the one-to-one -one access? Okay, Naven is asking why is selling limits is not increased after 90 days sellings. So not always the system of eBay will, will increase automatically your limits. And actually my experience, they 
the system will almost never do. So what you can do is to contact eBay uh, by live chat or by phone and asking them to increase your limits. They will ask you a few questions like um, what items are you selling, your shipping time and this kind of questions. Just ask with them and they should increase your limits. Just be sure to get use all your limits you have and to get good metrics on eBay. Otherwise, they will not increase that. What is the longest it should take for an item to get shipped before you considering canceling it before get negative feedback? Um, so uh, this, if you do this question, maybe you have um, a basic a basic problem because. You have settings on AutoDS. Uh, one important settings is the shipping time. If you go to your settings page and hold this tab on uh, your AutoDS account, you will have one number that is shipping time. This means that when you put that number, AutoDS will monitor your items and we be sure that all the items that we go over these numbers of days will put out of stock. And so you need to put your business policy on eBay that match those numbers on AutoDS. So your shipping time is the same as your supplier and you will not get orders that you need to cancel. Anyway, sometimes can happen, I know. And what, the best way to do this is communicate with your buyer, contact him, explain that there is an issue with the courier, with I don't know what you want, ask to be more patient or just tell them that the, the item got damaged. Um, just be nice with your customers and communicate. Sometimes we just phone our customers, we call them. Uh, it's something that anybody does, but it's very important because when you call them, you can transmit emotional to them and you can avoid a lot of negative feedbacks. And this is what every businessman does. Just take care of your customers. Amazing. How much is added product cost for using Fulfillment to DS? We don't like, we buy for the same price that you see on Amazon or Walmart or any other site. Um, Uh, Naven is asking if it's okay to request a limiting trace on eBay. I already asked to this. Yes, just call them and be sure that your metrics are good. Georgian uh, is asking, how do we increase traffic to Shopify store website without paid traffic? Uh, you have some ways to do that. Of course, if you can run ads on Facebook or Instagram or pay influencers will be better. But I understand that sometimes you are low in budget, so you can use some ways. The first, be sure that your SEO is good for Google. And this means your title, description, your page on Shopify and everything is correct. And a few ways to put traffic, put free traffic is uh, Facebook groups, forums, you can look on Google for forums that speak about something related to your product. Same for Facebook groups, Facebook page, and you can just uh, list them. I don't mean spam, just list and be friendly and you can get free traffic. Also, you can get some influencers just sending one product for free, ask them on Instagram, hey, I'm selling this, I'm sending you for free one, if you can make one post or history on your profile. And the best way is not to look for big influencers, like 100,000 followers, but the smaller one with one, two, three thousand, five thousand followers, because it's more likely they will post your high, your high time for almost free um, that's all cool i see someone who asks uh, who says that uh, a lot of products that he sometimes lists from finder are halloween products 
um, and how to avoid it. So yeah, it happens because as I said, Autodesk scans other dropshippers best sellers. So because the best sellers now are products that are past Halloween, it gives you these products. What you can do is that you can go to keywords and add here keywords that you don't want to list, for example, Halloween or anything related. And then you can just choose here, don't upload this product and it will solve the situation for you. Oh, Naven is asking if it's okay to start drop shipping after three months of direct shipping. Yes, of course. It's even better because you have some history on eBay. So yes, you can start drop shipping on your eBay account or anywhere you are selling for. The flag issue is only from track and don't show the same zip code uh, or it's something like API tools for us. We work with API tools and it works. So uh, like nobody really know how to say something about that for hundred percent. This is why we support both options in AutoDS, but personally I manage with the API and the, the Aqualine should help you a lot with that. So Super Isla is asking if it's good to use Google Ads to promote your store. And if eBay will recognize that uh, you are using that. Yes, you can use any, any way that you want for promote your eBay store. Actually, eBay will be happy about that because you are bringing more traffic to them. So yes, you can use that. Also, if you go to your dashboard i mean seller dashboard on ebay you have a tab performance and you can go to traffic you can see exactly how much traffic is you are getting from inside the bay and how much you are getting from google and um, outside the bay in general Will the customer give bad review if customers see the box ship from Amazon and how do I resolve this situation? So guys, I give you one important tip now. If one, one buyer complain about Amazon, your feedback score, there is one rule on eBay. No one can write eBay competitor's name on feedbacks or anywhere that is public. So if you get one feedback like, Drop ship from Amazon or Amazon box, you can just contact eBay, ask to remove that because there is an eBay competitor's name and they will remove 100% because it's not allowed. Okay, so I really enjoyed this uh, masterclass and I want to stay with you like for a really long time more, but and um, let's give three last minutes until uh, 50 and then we will uh, close this webinar. I really enjoyed personally uh, from this webinar and for everything that's going on and for the re releases that we had today. So let's take a few last uh, questions and then we will uh, close the webinar. So, Karina, I need to talk to someone. I only, only have a few questions. If you have technical questions, you can contact the support using the chat icon in your AutoDS account. Okay, someone asks uh, how to change the gift message. You can change it here. Um, if you talk about auto ordering, so uh, it's uh, being here when you add the account, you will have uh, the messages. Um, uh, someone says that he doesn't, he cannot find the uh, product research system. It's here on the top left, the product research. You can just click on this here and it will switch you to the other system. Um, 
I missed a lot. Uh, I will view another time. We will add it to uh, our YouTube channel. So uh, make sure to subscribe right now to the YouTube channel, autodesk.com slash YouTube. Let me share it with you. Um, okay, two last questions. Let me find something interesting. If you see something, Daniel. Yes, guys, you sent a lot double questions. This is why we take so, some time to ask where we are looking them. My supplier shipping took longer than I put on my eBay setting. Customers were fine, but it affected my eBay metrics. How could I have avoided? Uh, I think I asked well to this about the shipping time just a few minutes ago. Um, James is asking how he can get the shipping option on Facebook if he's from USA. Um, basically, you need to just make history sales on Facebook, so just list products. If you have um, products from your home, uh, the list they lock with local pickup. More you list and sell using Facebook, they will give you very soon the option to shipping. This is why, because Facebook is a new marketplace and is not yet giving the option to everybody. So just be sure to make some history there. Okay. The other just sends alerts if server is being updated. So yeah, first you have our uh, status page. You can go to status.autodesk.com. You can see here if we have any issues or something with our servers. Uh, you can also subscribe here for updates. And second, if you talk about new features, you can go to feedback.autodesk.com, ask for your uh, feature release or upvote for any other, and then you will get uh, notified by email. Um, okay, last question. Let's find something. Yes. Hofi Levy is asking if it's safe to open second shop connected to same payment account. And yes, eBay allows to have multiple stores. So you can open two or three stores under the same payment. Just be sure to not doing this for, um, I mean, as work around as selling limits because for the selling limits, because if you do this, it's not allowed and eBay will ban you. You can have multiple eBay stores Link it together if the reasons is like selling on different categories. Um, so you can use one store to selling toys, one store to selling kitchen uh, items. And um, there is no issue. Just be sure to not list the same items with, I mean, in two different stores linked together. And also there is an option to do, to do this on AutoDS if Lior wants show to us or to link together to accounts. Yeah, so here on AutoDS, you can have uh, multiple uh, different accounts. Um, and you can also add a tag for stores to link them together. For example, I can say the uh, old store, and then I can have multiple stores together and then I can configure them not to list the same products to multiple stores. Yeah, that's all. If you have multiple stores, just be sure to get the tag and to not list the same items. Um, I see people who put here phone numbers and asking for Daniel's email. So guys, uh, as I said, you can uh, reach Daniel by the mentorship. Um, and I'm so happy for everyone who joined us today. I'm so happy that Daniel, that you joined us today. Thank you for this amazing uh, live Q&A that you helped us to do and answer all the questions from people. And I hope that we will be also able together to give the value for people on the mentorship program. Glad to be here. Actually, I follow all the webinars from the start to when you introduced me. It was very interesting. Thank you very much. And uh, again, thanks everyone for coming and uh, see you on the next uh, year Q4 webinar on our YouTube channel, on our mentorship program, and uh, in general in the AutoDS family. Thanks again, everyone, for coming. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.